All the big news from Germany this week. We've got some production rumors, some production growth, some scary stuff going on. We've got it all. Uh, let's get into it. I've got uh, Jan here from Tesla Fix uh, coming in hot as always. But he's just <laughs> a good always. looking fella. Uh, so uh, <laughs> I should mention that I'm Brian. Welcome to Futuraza. <laughs> So we got some news here. We've got some interesting news. Uh, let's start easy and build up from there. A uh, train. The Choo Choo is going to add another route starting in a couple months here. Why would they need to add another route? Hmm. I think to get more workers there. And also, yeah, that's that's the, it's transportation. What can I say? It's about uh, getting more people there and having a solid route um, too. Yeah. Yeah. And to the Gigafactory. And mm -hmm. I know uh, Tobias Lind has ridden that train a number of times uh, because why not? Why not? Go experience it yourself if he's out there every week, sometimes twice. Yep. Check it out. This just means that the rumor of increased production has more credibility. Would you agree? Yes, absolutely. That's where absolutely. we're Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then uh, next we've got some exciting news. Uh, Model Y sees price increase in Germany and Norway. This can't be accurate, for I have it on very good authority that Tesla is dead in Europe and the only way they can survive is by cutting prices endlessly. Have I been lied to? Yeah, this kind of could be. No, I think, so I have a theory about this news. I'm gonna maybe give uh -huh. it up here again to that you can see the price increase. I mean, we had some price increases here from 2,000 euros for the Model Y rear-wheel drive, for example. That's around $2,150 here. And Model Y range, uh, long-range version, sorry, is 2,500 euro increase. That's 2,700. You can read yourself. And also Model Y performance, 2,700 price increase. And this confuses me a little bit because my one theory could be that Tesla has the Model 3 Highland still in huge quantities in stock. It could be. I haven't checked that out to see if that's true or not. If you see a lot of models to kind of um, yeah in a, in a list for, for offers there. But this could be a reason that they say, okay, we kind of want to push the people that want to order Model Y to order a Model 3 instead. But this, on the other hand, doesn't even kind of makes sense because they are pumping out Model Ys even more and more and increased production of Model Ys. So I don't know, maybe they just try a different pricing strategy in Europe than in the US where they are pretty determined to kind of cut prices all the time. Like Elon already said, he, he said time and time again for over many years, those prices we have are ridiculously high and he wants to have them down. And, and I think they could just test it in the European market differently. Maybe maybe that's the case. I don't know. I had made a video about a year ago titled something like, Will I Ever Be Able to Buy a Tesla? And at the time, my trade-in was worth quite a bit more than I ended up getting for it. But the Model Y was still priced so high that, and it was still going up at the time, yep. that yep. I was just convinced it would never be a car. That by the time I could afford one, uh, they would no longer have steering wheels or maybe not even be for sale, but just uh, something you could rent. And I was very sad, very sad. But prices change all the time. Cost of goods has improved significantly. Uh, well, good news. We don't have any more news from Germany, do we? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say so, Ryan. <laughs> Let's see. So here again is the time lapse of Tobias Lind, for example. He had a time-lapse video, but now I'm taking your part. Please, sorry. Right, no, please, you no, can no, introduce no. this news. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's just this. So I follow yeah. these videos every week. There mm -hmm. isn't He's a awesome. drone channel that I don't watch, and I watch all of the videos at least once, and I don't casually watch them. I study them. You know that. This video, it was the first one uh, that we saw after the slowdown from the lack of parts getting stuck in transit. And what he is seeing appears to be a significantly improved output rate. Yeah, now, absolutely. Now, some of this could just be catching up, uh, trying to catch up with that downtime. But it shows that the factory has more capacity than we may have realized. And that's a good thing. 
Mm-hmm. What's your what's your take on this? This also what you've just said there also ties into the whole topic of pricing again and why did they raise the prices and stuff. Maybe they really want to get the push out, like you said, from the delay of the parts that were missing to get the Model Y still out and then ramp production for another vehicle category, maybe. That's why many workers are there. Who knows? That's just ridiculously tinfoil hat talk right now. So don't... uh, Maybe, Pin maybe. Me on that. Now, now the yeah, question I would ask yeah. you is, if they were, let's say they decided to put a Model 3 line in Berlin, mm-hmm. could the European market handle that many more? Considering it's not like Shanghai uh, has the kind of output. I mean, Shanghai output is fantastic. And they've been able to serve the entire European and Asian market from just two lines successfully for years now. Uh, it would reduce the cost of the car by the import tax. What is that? 12, 12 and a half percent. It would mm-hmm. remove a big chunk of the shipping cost. Yep. May- maybe 500 to a thousand dollars a car. Um, if a model three was 30,000 out of mm-hmm. Berlin, what kind of sales do you expect we would see? A huge increase, but then they would, I don't think they're going to carnivalize that, but the $25,000 car huh, is it, so it's near only... that people will pick the Model 3 because, <clears throat> yeah, it's sportier and it's like a BMW M3 or, or M3 in that sense, I would say. I would compare it a little bit to that. That's a form factor that the 3 Series of BMW that, that many Germans find very popular. So. Yeah, I, I think it's, uh, I mean, the Model 3 always was a good seller, but of course Model Y is always the best seller because it's in, yeah, in a high SUV type uh, type. Vehicle. It has more, a, little bit a lot more yeah. utility. Mm, and, exactly. But I think the Model 3 looks like a car, and I don't mm-hmm. know what the compact is going to look like. It's, yep. We, we've heard one rumor saying from the guys at Tesla saying, oh no, it's going to be a more a more traditional car than a Cybertruck. Okay, but that doesn't mean it's going to be traditional. Yeah. And we know that there are a lot of efficiencies that can be gained by doing something a little crazy. So we mm-hmm. might see that. I wouldn't rule out a a Berlin built Model Three. Um, I I wouldn't also. Yeah, it's yeah. It 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 fits for the German market. Also, the from time and time again, the entry barrier to Tesla still also here for private people buying cars or getting company cars is that the pricing is still too high for the Model Y, for example. That's why they, I mean, Model 3 is popular very much also in Germany. But of course, the numbers speak for themselves. Model Y is still the best-selling, uh, like one of the best-selling EVs here, of course. Yeah, And and pretty good selling worldwide, from what I've heard. Yep. That, yeah. could, be, that could be something. Number one. <laughs> yeah, maybe. True. Now, true. there's all kinds of rumors about Compact, about maybe the, mm-hmm. the Highland being made in, in Shanghai. There's this great little uh, video, little picture we saw from mm-hmm. Tobias's uh, video. A lot of speculate. You guys, this doesn't look like a normal car to me. That's that's a Cybertruck. I, I guarantee you that's a <laughs> European-made Cybertruck. They just uh, removed the edges a little bit, sanded over the the mm-hmm. roof, and that's, that's, I mean, look at it. So my first take was, this is the Model Y. That's a Model Y. Yep. Uh, when you take the front clip off, a car's mm-hmm. appearance changes radically. That, to yep. me, looks just like a Model Y. And you, well, the back window might be a little smaller. I mean, it might, but what, what I see on it is plastic cladding, yep. the kind that they yep. put on the car while they're finishing the car. And you'll see it in production lines of all kinds of vehicles. Ford, they put these big rubber you know, curtains over the mm-hmm. fenders because the workers have to reach over and their mm-hmm. buttons and zippers would scratch up the paint. That's what it looks like to me is just a piece of plastic mm-hmm. that they keep on it during the manufacturing <laughs> process. This to yep. me looks like just a Model Y. And for that yeah. matter, at the at the Super Bowl, Elon was wearing a shirt and people said, oh, is it a clue? It looks like there's, there's, and, and people immediately <laughs> said, nope, that, that shirt's been around a while. It's a body in white Model Y, which looks an awful lot <laughs> like that. So yeah. I don't think I, I'd be delighted if that's something secret that they decided to put up on jacks outside the factory by itself <laughs> in the graveyard. And knowing that Tobias Lind is lurking around in the in the forest around Giga. 
Well, I haven't with a stroke. <laughs> I do know that in Texas, they will sometimes tell the pilots don't fly at this time because just don't. And mm-hmm. the pilots honor it because they don't want to lose their relationship. But I believe they've also had times where they where they got information, not from not on an official basis, but from someone who is a, a known Tesla employee where they say, do fly on this date. Do fly. <laughs> and we've also seen it where they've had things that we wanted to see that that appeared to just be on display, just mm-hmm. out there, like positioned. And you're like, that's for me. That's <laughs> you're putting that up. And actually, kind of fun when Joe Techmeyer uh, showed some new item coming in from some company. They actually went ahead and put up banners with their company name on it for for display, so he could, <laughs> so they could advertise to us that's for so free. Yeah, yeah, it's very smart. smart. So I don't think yeah. that's a big one. Now, mm-hmm. uh, what do we have left? I think we have one. I know we have one big one that isn't being covered much in the main one. The title is still in Portuguese. I apologize for that. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> okay, okay. Wait a second. I've got to pull it up because I have it here. I'm gonna. Uh, yeah. I have it in English. <laughs> that may be better than I... Portuguese. Oh no! That no, it's Portuguese again. Wait a second. I have to change. <laughs> God darn it! <laughs> That's a little bit better. There we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. Uh, interesting how they translated it. That's great. Uh, yeah, left wing violent criminals are declaring war on Tesla and threatening a wave of attacks on electric cars. Electric, you're you're what? So I looked for this story. I knew it had happened. I looked for it in the news and in English. I could not find it, so I relied on you to find it for me uh, in mm-hmm. German. And what's going on here? What in the heck? Yeah. So. We have some kind of yeah left leftist groups. I mean, this is true. They are also very active in Berlin, for example, and all over Germany. That's how it is. And sometimes the radicals of them do crazy stuff. And for me, I've I've already seen also comments on X about this. Uh, also, I've I've published or, or sent it out, and people responded, and they were like, "Oh, that's big oil is behind this, and it's a huge deal, kind of." And if you really look into it, it's more or less like a smaller group. They wrote a letter and they declared, yeah, this was on Elon Musk. I mean, he, they critique uh, him, of course, for being a capitalist, for example. Or uh, here is also some, some things out of, the, out of the letter here that they, their claims. Several armies use Tesla Starlink satellite systems in their wars. Uh, Tesla is a symbol of green capitalism, which in reality is anything but green um, because of the the um, rare earth metals they use and stuff like this. But don't they know that they also reduce the conflict uh, materials that are in the batteries, actually, and they even change chemistries and stuff like this. But yeah, who, who knows if they know that? But uh, yeah, and also the, the expansion of Giga Grünheide is a thorn in their eyes or that's German saying maybe that, that how, doesn't translate how, well. It doesn't. How <laughs> dare they, they cut down a farm where pulp trees were grown for for paper production. For paper production. <laughs> oh, I and mean, World War II yeah. grenades had to be uh, yes. They are full of grenades. They are mi- they, those are minefields actually also. They, I mean they Just are. There was I don't remember yeah. how many but it was between like five and ten that they did have to clear uh, yep. Because they were still left over from 80 years ago. But they are now cleared. They are now gone. And that is, I'm going to go out on a limb and say, removal of uh, antique munitions from the countryside is a good thing. Mm-hmm. I'm willing mm-hmm. to take that yep. stand. Yep. Uh, Absolutely. <clears throat> and this one is also funny. Tesla is militarizing our streets. Their cars are equipped with high-resolution cameras in guard mode, the, or <laughs> sentry mode, they mean. Uh, so the cars would film everything and everything. Be, sh- uh, everything. be sure to make yourself unrecognizable during actions. So they did. So so what these guys do now? Now, OK, th- those are the claims. Um, but what those guys did, they burned down Tesla's. And in 2019, I recall, or maybe it was 21, I don't know when exactly, something similar happened. This was also a left-wing group, 
that you could they could track down and um, they burned down 15 Tesla cars in a dealership, for example, that was behind uh, like like behind a fence and they jumped the fence and just bought some uh, 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 fire um, ignition. Oh. Yeah, no, no, oh, those oh. pellets, the, those white pellets that you can ignite and then they burn for longer and they just put it under the wheel. Not too complex to burn down some cars because when the when the tires are burning, then the whole car is burning. That's what they did. And also, there are some actions those groups sometimes do, for example, letting out the air of, of SUVs, Porsches, uh, Mercedes, and stuff like this. So these kinds of things happen regularly, kind of. But um, they also destroyed, for example, infrastructure of Tesla's uh, superchargers, for example, also. But I th the number is still very small, so I think it's a group of maybe 10 people or something. But it's not as conspiratorial that you think, like, and the headline is totally overblown. So that's my take on that, <laughs> if this makes sense. Yeah. Long-winded answer to a, not, yeah, not a nothing burger, but um, still it's but close not to that it. big of a, yeah, it's yeah. not that big of a deal, yeah. Because these are people who represent the fringe of the fringe. The amount of yeah. damage they caused compared to the 5 million units sold is none. It's a rounding error. They're misguided, and hopefully mm -hmm. they'll uh, be prosecuted for their crimes. So, Of course, yeah. That's all I can think of that. So, uh, big news in Germany. Anything else this week, you guys? What did we miss? What did we misunderstand? Leave it. I demand. I have nothing but uh, anticipation for all the brilliant comments we're about to get. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, if you get a chance, maybe head over and see what Tesla Fix is up to. It, no good, usually. No good. He's uh, he's a troublemaker. Uh, and Absolutely. everybody else, you know, like, subscribe, do the usual. Stay tuned. Stay juicy. We cannot wait to hear from you clever robots on the Flippity Club.